Hello, welcome to a short video tutorial on the three different parts of software that I'm using to record, uh, put together, and publish videos for my students for these few weeks that we are here under quarantine. So I'm going to show you just a few uh, little places that I went, and then I'm going to show you specifically the software that I'm using to do what I'm doing. So Right now, as you can see, um, you're looking at my computer screen. Uh, the way I did that was uh, I went to the best place of all to find anything you need, uh, YouTube. And I went looking for the best screen recorder that I can find, which uh, screen capture, screen record, that's kind of all different ways of saying um, things that keep track of what you're doing on your computer screen and record it like a video to publish later so that way people can see what you're doing on your computer screen. So I went looking for a bunch of different ones and I found one that I think works the best and that is uh, down here this uh, this YouTuber here Croat Code has shared something called uh, iSpring Free Cam and that is what I have. It is free there's no watermark, no time limit to your recording, so you can record a 10 minute, 20 minute, 30 minute video, however long you need to. And uh, that's right here. Of course, I will also include uh, links to all these softwares whenever I share the video with you all. Um, so this is where I'm recording what you're seeing on the screen right here. Um, the next thing that you need is um, a video converter because iSpring uh, FreeCam records everything in WMV format, which most video editing software doesn't work with. Uh, so what you need is something that converts WMV files to MP4. And that's where we have uh, this down here. It's called Handbrake. Again, I went to YouTube and I looked around YouTube and saw uh, what can I find that works the best? And Handbrake seems to be one that works the best for me um, because there is no upload size limit because a lot of the free uh, file converters have a size or a time limit. And so far, Handbrake is open source and doesn't have that that I can see from here. So I downloaded Handbrake as well. And that is how I convert the video format WMV over to MP4 that you can see here. The last thing that you need to put all this together is um, a video editing software. And this is another one that I found I think is probably one of the best. This one is called uh, DaVinci, um, DaVinci Resolve. And again, I uh, found this on YouTube. Uh, so here is uh, the link for Handbrake, pretty easy, uh, from Tricknology, uh, handbrake.fr, that's where you can get this uh, uh, transcoder, which is, you know, the, the changing the format of files um, from WMV to MP4. Finally, the last thing is um, DaVinci Resolve, which is here. Um, this is uh, Jack Cole and he did a video on three of the best and I checked out Shotcut. I didn't like it that much. Then I checked out DaVinci Resolve and it works really well, I think, um, because of the way I have to make videos. So, um, those are the three main softwares that you will most likely need if you want to make your own videos for your students. Um... But because of this, on FreeCam, I can go, I can find uh, PowerPoint, I can open it, and of course you can already have PowerPoint open before you start recording so that your students just see the PowerPoint. And then what I'm doing is I am recording my voice over um, my phone because I don't have a microphone for my computer. Now, some of you uh, will most likely have laptops that have microphones built in. You won't have to worry about that. Um, but for me, I'm using a big desktop, so I don't have a microphone. I'm using my phone to record this in real time, which I'll then use DaVinci Resolve to splice 
uh, the audio from my phone onto the audio recording from this video and then um, put them together so that you can see uh, what I see and then hear me talking to you instead of what is actually happening, which is uh, a quiet screen and my mouse doing things on it, which is what the original video would sound like, but I recorded uh, my voiceover on it. So, again, the three softwares that you're going to want, uh, DaVinci Resolve, um, this one is DaVinci Resolve 16, that's what I'm using down here, uh, DaVinci Resolve 16. Then you want uh, iSpring FreeCam, again, easy to get to it, um, I'll, include, I'll include the links for all of these whenever I send this video out. And then finally the Video Converter, um, Handbrake by far seems to be the best and the easiest. So those are the three software things you need to do. And then I will uh, record a video of me putting this actual video together so that you can see how I put together the video and then um, that will hopefully give you the baseline idea of uh, how I'm making these videos and how, how well they work together. So yeah, that's everything, and uh, hopefully uh, this will help you guys get set up to record yourselves doing these lessons, and it's really simple, really easy, and I'll, I'll show that in the next video of how I put everything together and explain that in a little bit more in-depth. So um, that's everything.